I'm Shivali and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. I have just about recovered from last week's video um, in which I tested out some edible insects. Um, if you haven't seen that one yet and you're not too squeamish, <laughs> then um, please do give that a watch as well. I will leave the link in the description box below. But for today's video, I'm gonna be turning my attention back to technology um, and checking out a coffee making alarm clock. So this is the coffee making alarm clock here. It's made by a company called Barrasseur. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I cannot speak French if, uh, if that's what it's based on, but this is the device here. And as you can imagine from the description, it makes you a coffee, but it also acts as an alarm clock. So the developers describe it as a personal bedside barista, which I think is a really nice description. Um, if you're anything like me, you cannot start your day without that shot of caffeine, that little bit of coffee. Um, so what better way to get yourself up and out of bed than having that coffee waiting for you as your alarm goes off with the gorgeous aroma of coffee in the air. So this is the device here. As you can see, the bottom part kind of resembles just your standard alarm clock. But on top of that, they have this stunning piece of wood and then almost a kind of mini science laboratory, I would say, which is the coffee making part. So in here you have um, a little flask that gets heated underneath when you're ready for your coffee. Um, and this links up to the kind of coffee filter part here, a little cup that you can take in and out. And then a really cute touch, which I really like, um, is this little milk holder here. So you might worry about keeping milk in there for too long, but the system is actually rigged so that the water is heated to 94 degrees, but you also have a mini fridge inside it, which keeps the um, milk at around four to five degrees. So if you have that in there for a few days, it's not gonna go off, it's not gonna get heated while you're making your coffee. So the way in which this works is that you have these buttons on the side here, which you can press down to set an alarm. You can either have your coffee um, set to be made five minutes before the alarm goes off, when the alarm goes off, or up to 15 minutes after the alarm goes off. So if you prefer getting straight out of bed, into the shower, and then having your coffee, you could set it to go maybe 10 minutes after you get out of bed. Um, so I think it's really nice you have those options there. I would probably go for the five minutes before I wake up so that I have the smell there and the coffee's not too hot and ready to drink, but that's complete personal preference. So yeah, so you set your alarm on the side here and decide how long after your alarm you'd like your coffee. And then on the front of the um, clock here, you can see um, there's these buttons here. So you can set the alarm to go off on its own by clicking this way. You can set the alarm to go off and make you a coffee this way. Or if you just wanted to make a uh, coffee on the spot, you can hold down that make button. If like me, you uh, are the kind who sometimes needs those extra few minutes after your alarm, there's also a snooze function. So you can snooze, hit that button there and have a few extra minutes in bed. Now I am gonna try this in my bedroom, but I don't really fancy filming first thing in the morning. No one needs to see this face <laughs> in that uh, early morning state. So I thought what I would do to show you how it works is set it up to uh, make a coffee as if I'm just waking up. So it's now 25 to six. So I'll set one to make a coffee at about quarter to six. Um, and I will show you the whole uh, kind of spectacle. It's really impressive when it's underway. I think it is, like I said, like a mini laboratory. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna quickly show you um, how it works and we'll do a little taste test and review at the end.
tell by the clock in the front, um, that took around five minutes to complete, which would be probably worth keeping in mind for when you're setting that delay. Um, if you wanted to wake up to the coffee being ready, you'd probably have to set the timer for five minutes earlier, but it's so nice to have those options, so it's not an issue at all. My coffee looks a little bit anemic. Uh, I didn't put enough coffee grounds in, I think, um, but yeah, it's looking a little bit more like a tea, to be honest, but I'm sure it's still delicious. Let me get my milk out of its little mini fridge in here. I can confirm the milk is still cold. Um, so let's pop that up there. This would be such a civilized thing to do in the morning, wouldn't it? Rather than me rushing around with my bed head, trying to get myself ready for work in the morning. Okay, all important taste test. Yeah, very weak because I didn't put enough coffee grinds in, but nice and hot um, and pretty delicious, yeah. Yeah, so it's a really cool gadget, I'm sure you'll all agree, but you're all probably wondering what the price tag is. Now, this costs £345, so it's not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm sure you'll agree, the design is absolutely stunning. You can tell they've put a lot of time and effort into really making it look really classy. I think with this kind of thing, it's really easy for it to become almost gimmicky, whereas I think this would really fit in kind of a sleek, modern home. Um, it's a really good size for like your bedside table. It wouldn't be in the way. Um, so yeah, the design is beautiful, but 345 pounds is pricey. Um, I don't think it's ridiculous, um, but yeah, you, it'd be quite an expensive thing to get, but if you have a coffee every day in the morning um, and it really helps you to get going, this could be a really nice addition to your home. So that is everything that I'm going to show you about the Barizier coffee alarm clock. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed that and if you'd like to find out any more information about the device then I will leave a link to their website in the description box below. Um, and if you have enjoyed this then please do give a like, give me a comment, subscribe if you want to. Um, I put out new science and tech um, gadgets, weird experiments, all sorts um, every week. Um, so yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed that um, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.